Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor Software Program. In today's video I'd like to take a look at an absolutely brilliant example of one of our more advanced trade setups which we call our VSA or Volume Spike Analysis that, that occurred on the uh, NQ yesterday which was actually Friday <coughs> the 15th of May uh, nailing the low of the day for you actually at uh, well on the 1409 bar. So let's have a look at this bar training mode and see how this uh, this would have developed. So what I'm going to use is do our bar replay or training mode and I'm going to jump back to just before this low unfolded. So here you were, the market was chopping sideways and nothing was happening particularly at this point in time. However, if we skip forward, again nothing happening and then suddenly the market makes a wide range bar. It makes a wide range bar on increased volume. You can see our, <coughs> our, our volume indicator has gone red here uh, telling you that there's something happening. If we zoom back a bit and I'll just put a low tag on the previous low that unfolded lower in the day or earlier in the day you can see that this bar here made a new low through this uh, 44, 80, 25 low. Now for normal amateur traders they look at this and they say oh yeah we've had a break to new lows, the volume's increasing therefore this is selling and we'll go short. However look what happens the next bar. The next bar then reverses and fails to follow through and in fact if I train turning mode off you can see that actually would have been the low of the day and obviously the last thing you want to do is to be short at the low of the day. So how can MT Predictor help you here? Well, let's go back again in training mode or bar replay mode. Let's go back to the bar that came to make new lows. Now, we already know that it's made a new low below the uh, 8025 level. So I'm just going to take that level off because we know that already so we don't confuse ourselves. I'll just take the cursor off as well. Uh, what do we do now? Well, for MT Predictor users, we have a very valuable tool which we call our DP tool. This gives us areas of support and um, resistance but the main thing is these are on the chart in advance so actually let's do this <coughs> a slightly different way let's go back to the bar before which was here and you can see even before the market broke down to new lows you'd have gone back to this prior pivot here right mouse click place the decision point on and you can see there's the support there down there before the market even got there so you even knew before the market made a break to new lows that this was an area of potential support Let's move forward one bar and you can see here we've gone right the way down into this support level. This is our VSA bar. What do we know about this? Well what we know is we have to look at the next bar. So I'll just skip forward one bar and now we know that the next bar is reversed back up again but more importantly it's reversed back up again from our DP support level. So what do we know about the volume in the bar before? Well, we know that the volume in the bar before was not actually selling, it's actually the professionals coming in and buying. In other words, they're buying this high volume off the amateurs selling. So what's going to happen now? Well, now the professionals are going to move this in the opposite direction, trapping all the sellers short, and as such, getting them to reverse their positions quickly, which will force the uh, market higher and normally fairly quickly. And of course, MT Predictor users have the advantage in that we know the area of where this reversal will happen, the area where the professionals will make this reversal happen, which is at our DP. Of course, that's all well and good, but now we need to build a trade setup around this. Again, MT Predictor users have the advantage in that we know that an area of resistance or a target for this would have been the DP off the last swing into the low. You can see our pivots connected there. So we go back to the prior pivot high, right mouse click, place DP on our chart, and there you can see it's on the chart in advance, way up there ready. So we build a trade setup around this by using our risk reward tool, where we look to go long, one tick above the high of that blue bar, uh, buy bar. We look to have the short uh, stop, in other words the stop, uh, one tick below the low, and then we look to have our target up there at our target price. And as you can see here, our correct position sizing, uh, keeping our initial risk less than a sample, uh, sorry, 2% on a sample $20,000 account for this entry and stop would mean going long six contracts. Profit would have been greater than twice the initial risk, therefore a good trade to take. Let's skip forward. You can see there we'd now be entering into a long trade. Let's keep skipping forward. You can see the market starting to rally, starting to rally, and you see how it goes up straight up. 
This is what happens with these VSA trade setups, is if they're going to work, they move very quickly in your direction. That's why they're an excellent uh, uh, trade setup to, to look at. And there you go. We've now hit our first target and you'd have taken profit of 2.8R. So this was a very good example of our MT Predictor VSA trade setup. Uh, I know there's lots of other software that can actually um, find or can teach about uh, volume coming in at reversals, but we have the added advantage of MT Predictor in that we know in advance the level where that reversal is likely to happen, which is our DP there. We also know, again, in advance, a likely area of where the market is going to move to. In other words, where the professionals are going to take the market to. And also, we can then build a trade setup using our risk reward tools in and around that. If I turn training mode off, you can see what a great place to take profit. The market went up to that level before backing off. And if I zoom out, just reset the chart there. If I zoom out, you can see that our VSA trade setup nailed pretty much the low of the day there as well. So a very, very good trade setup in which <coughs> we captured the low of the day and caught a lovely move coming up into that. For the more experienced users among you would want to know what the large degree trend is, and this is where it gets even better, because if we go to the 15 minute chart, you can see there was a prior pivot low there. So uh, again, you'd have right mouse click and place that DP on the chart in advance. Again, remember these levels are on the chart in advance. So the more experienced MT predictor users among you, if I go back to the three minute chart, would have had that 15 minute support on the chart literally for hours. That would have been their hours sitting there waiting for you. So all MT predictor users would have been ready for that higher time frame support. In fact, that was the same area as we had off our three minute chart because it's the same pivot. So again, that would have given you a great um, anticipation of the area of where this VSA trade was going to reverse. Target is the DP off the last pivot and our risk reward tool makes setting up a trade setup around that really easy indeed. So an absolutely brilliant example of our VSA trade setup um, using the tools in MT Predictor. And again, this is one of my favorite trade setups because the VSA trade setup gets you in the direction of the professionals. In other words, the professionals are looking to fake out the amateurs on this particular low here and then looking to move it in the opposite direction very quickly. And obviously we want to be in the direction of the professionals riding their coattails, so to speak, and get the profits uh, that they do rather than be uh, an amateur ending up short at the low of the day, which is not a good position to be in. So hopefully this has been a great example of one of our more uh, advanced trade setups that we teach using the MT Predictor software program, taking advantage of our DP risk reward tools that are available in the software.